Architecture and landscaping complement each other seamlessly in this house located in Itupeva, in the interior of Sao Paulo. Much like the movements of a choreography, the vegetation embraces, conceals, supports, and softens the straight lines of the facade without hiding the basalt stone wall with a white cement finish. The same stone was used on the floor, interspersed with emerald green grass. Out of the 2,698 Marajas lot, the greenery occupies 2,122 Mau Maus. The generous dimensions, which, depending on the chosen species and layout, could convey a sense of coldness, actually provide the opposite effect. One of warmth and connection. Despite being recently implemented, the vegetation grows vigorously. Much of this behavior is due to the use of native species. There are white IP, Samanea, Sapucaya, as well as Guaymbes and wavy philodendrons. The tree canopies provide shade for the tropical garden allowing the shrubs to adapt more and more to the created microclimate. The reflecting pool is located in front of the block that comprises the social area of the house. The central courtyard serves as the connection between the blocks of the social and intimate areas. In it, the Kumaru wood deck has a metallic railing with electrostatic painting. The side woods provide privacy from neighbors, and the central courtyard connects the social and intimate areas. The landscaping breaks the rigidity of the architecture, deconstructs the austere lines and large blocks, humanizing the spaces and bringing greenery indoors.
thanks to well-chosen selections, the garden grows naturally, requiring minimal maintenance aside from the removal of dry leaves. On the rooftop, the carpet formed by green Texas grass and goat's beard grass is a spectacle in itself. These species thrive in full sun areas and grow rapidly, only needing pruning in winter. <laughs> 